guys out there like it's a stressful the job in the environment and then going to the field the toxic leadership right just yelling in your face and are you are you also no that's just so you're, you're through just riding that. oh that's cool you, you guys got a lot of benefits going your way How, how's that but the place looked nice man. But uh, were you allowed to get off base and look? Yes, but we had like a curfew, you know. Yeah. And then that curfew got lifted. And then Fort Hood went over there and just started raping people and stealing taxis. So now they put the curfew back on for American soldiers to be back on. <laughs> Damn, they just let, let, let people have fun out there and then someone had to yeah, fuck it up. To, I got to experience that fun a little bit before I left. <laughs>
somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, just like just other surveillance from other countries. Wow. Like we have no power to do anything about that whatsoever. We need to do everything that pertains to our mission, which is to protect South Korea. Uh, yeah, I was, I was about to say like, of course you're in South Korea. Uh, Damn. Well, is it now basically like now that oh, it's no, kind of civil? Still Oh yeah, you guys actually went over? Yeah, I can't say what it was. Yeah, of course not. We, we've been in there, it was pretty cool. Damn, dude, I can't... So do, do they know that you were... That, that you guys uh, crossed borders or something? Oh yeah, they, they were completely... Uh, uh, North Korea was? Really high, yeah, it was really high stakes. Oh, so they were aware? But it wasn't like... It wasn't a... Uh, it wasn't like harm... Like a... Like harmful or terror, I guess? Like it was more of a... Mission? Yeah, it's just a mission. Oh, okay. no sense, yeah, nothing like we're here with Star War. Yeah, I was about to say like, damn, dude, you you're, you could have caused war. <laughs> we could have easily killed each other because he, he was there with us. No way. Like, yeah. So like any shot survived. So Kim, you Kim Jong Un was there. So if it, they they probably. It's funny he walks with his belly. He walks his belly up. Yeah, like like he walks with his belly, like like you know the pimp. Yeah. So you actually you've seen him? Yeah. Damn. With your own eyes or video? Oh, that's... With your own eyes? Damn, dude, that's crazy. You just saw like one of the world's <coughs> most powerful flexors of all time. It was pretty cool. That is cool, dude. That's crazy. So it was like total. They allowed you guys. That's crazy. I knew like, when you were like, oh, I gotta go pick up all this stuff, I was like, true. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was like, I got it right here, don't worry about it. <laughs> nah, I would, but, but nah, I got to chill. But yeah, man. I, they drug test you, no? You. Well, not, wait, not you and him, right? Yeah, yeah they drug test me, but he's not in between. True, yeah, yeah I did Because, like, the entire well, brigade I, is gone, we can't do no UA, so, like, I used to play at, at uh, UTEP and they drug test us every every month and so what I would do is I would have clean piss in a five hour energy uh -huh. and then I would put a heating pack over it so yeah. they would call us in practice right after practice they would they would send us in so we had those already packed in the five hour energy in our shoes uh -huh. so we would just go walking like in our shoes and then just whip it out and just put it in the cup but then one time I put two packs just cause like it was cold outside yeah. and that shit ended up being too hot. So I gave it to him and he's and the and the and the guy was like, Oh what the he's like, 